Hello YouTube, this is your Friday Eve video and the topic of today's video is the new saw blade and before we get started here we're going to go over a few points of what we're doing and why we're doing it so I don't have to answer 900 comments on there something. Go. We're going to answer the questions right now. It is a 56 inch saw. The current saw we are running is a 56 inch saw. It's the F pattern, same as that one. The reason we bought another 56 inch saw is so we have a brand new blade. That saw becomes the backup. We do have a backup blade. It's a 52 inch yeah. B pattern. In order to switch it out, you have to move the guides. And then it's, it becomes a nightmare every time you switch from a 56 to a 52. Uh, we do not want a 60 inch saw. The mill will hold one. We do not want it, so don't go there. We do not want a top saw. Don't we go there. Saw logs we want to saw logs. manageable logs. That's right. And we make stop signs out of them. Some people get crazy about it, but that's how we do it. It works for us. And also, on the end of the mill here, between the saw blade and the actual off bearers uh, on the husk there, where the belt ends is 22 inches. We can cut 22 inches, and you've seen a few times where Eddie, it gets jammed in there, it won't even come out of there it, it, with this blade. So just imagine adding another, you know, four inches on a saw, so that's two inches, so it would be 24 inches. Now that would be two inches wider. It would actually hit the uh, pantograph column. And then the blade. And then the blade, and, yeah. and then next thing, you, you bent the blade, you've done damage, so. That's why we do not want to cut anything wider than 22. So that answers that question. Um, but other than that, we're going to show you how we switch the saw blade out. It is a procedure. Uh, we do wear gloves. These are razor sharp. Yes, they are. And uh, the blade has been hammered up to 600 RPM, and that's the, that's the speed we do run. So with that said, and also we're going to do a test cut on it too, so you will see a little bit of sawing. It's just going to be one small, uh, we're going to run one of them yellow pines. Yeah, make sure it stands up straight. Yeah, make sure, it, make sure it behaves correctly. You don't want to throw the biggest log you can find on a brand new blade until you figure out how the blade's going to behave. So yeah. with all that said, let's get to it. Let's get going. All right. We got some planks laid around here. And the first step that I do just make sure my microphone's working. Okay. So this, these are toolless saw guides, which are really nice. You don't have to uh, mess around with uh, anything. Just got to watch you don't lose parts out of here. <laughs> so I will lay this glove down right here as a precaution. You won't need that glove. I will, but I got to make sure I get this out without oh, losing okay. pieces. Same. Yeah, pieces do fall out, and I, I did do that one time. Okay. There we go. And that's my outer guide. I'm going to set that up here. And I'm going to make sure that there is... Yeah, okay, I think everything... I think it was the keyway that fell out last time, Ed. I think it was. Yep. It was something small. Yeah, something long. small. Okay, so now we're unobstructed there. And we've talked about this in the past. In fact, let me turn the camera a little bit. The saw nut. Anybody that owns a mill or any type of saw and you're using a hammer, shame on you. You don't need it. This blade works against itself. It'll never spin off. So here we go. Let me get the wrench. And basically, this is the saw wrench. It came with Edmonston. So you just basically want to get on it. That's it. Now, next step. I take my gloves off on, off, on and, off and on a lot here. So there's two pins that are going to come out of here. And I'm sorry about the camera. I'm sorry if I'm blocking anything. But I don't feel like digging through sawdust. Now, the collar was remachined at one time. And we're going to give this a good cleaning before we reinstall it. You can see the oil actually from when we spray it down when we were done sawing. This was remachined. It was crushed at one time. Did somebody beat it on with a hammer? Yes. How did that work? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, there's two of these. These are called shear pins. So there's one on both sides of this. This one here I think is kind of tight in. I don't think it's going to fall out. 
we'll leave it alone. So, our next step is put the gloves on. And yeah, let me turn this camera just to, I won't know what I'm seeing until we're editing this. And I'm gonna try to move you over just a, just a hair here. And if the camera falls over, you won't, you won't get hurt. And the pantograph arm was kind of a bad place. I moved the carriage downstream. Maybe it was a bad move on my part. All right, so we're gonna get it off of the mandrel first onto the threads. Okay, I got that piece of plywood is down in there. Go ahead, walk, walk yours back a little bit, Ed. Yeah. Are we getting pinched? I think it might be that piece of plywood. Just bring it towards the wall if you can. It's gonna come. There it goes. All right, now we're gonna just bring it up and we're gonna lay it in the box. Ready? All right, we're gonna get this one. Let me get out of the way here. So we're gonna get this. Uh, we're gonna get this blade recreated, and uh, we're gonna bring the new one into place. And once we're ready to roll here, we're gonna turn the camera back on, and we'll talk to you then. All right, the fun part now. So I'm gonna try to get over on this side, Ed. And we're going to try to get it on that piece of wood so we're not damaging no teeth or ourselves at the same time. Okay, let's just, uh, yeah, let me get up on the track here. All right, very gently down in the hole. I'm going to get back in that slot on the mandrel and hold that for a second. Now, that one pin we couldn't get out is going to give us a little bit of trouble. So let's just get it up on the mandrel just enough. You gotta come up. There you, oh, hold that. I'm gonna tell you, I'll spin it. Keep going, keep going right there in. All right. Now, let me bring the camera back around here, everybody. And let's get this, uh, we'll get the crate out of the way here. And I'm gonna show you how I set the collar it's not as simple as just putting a nut on it and tightening it and walking away, so. And I'll say one thing, Payne made a real nice saw case. Beautiful. Beautiful saw case. We'll take care of that in a minute. So let's just bring you guys over here. And this is what happens when you're filming on location and you're trying to explain something. So I'm gonna bring you off the stand. Eddie's gonna be cameraman. And, there you go. Now, here is the shear pin again. And we're gonna put it back in the hole all the way till it's seated. Um, I gotta get on, and it, I, oh yeah, I'm gonna wipe that off. Let me go get that rag again. Don't get in a hurry on this part, because you'll be sorry. So wipe around where that collar is going to engage the blade. So, that looks nice. So now we're gonna grab the collar, and again, we're gonna line up the, the holes onto the shear pins, and you'll feel it engage, there it goes. We're going to put the nut on loosely by hand, and there is a inner and outer. It has a flat surface on it, which meets the collar. And we've pretty much have checked everything. Now, just hand tight. Now we're going to load the blade. Let go there, Eddie. Do it. Okay, now, you can see, there's, you see the movement forward and reverse? You want to load the blade. So in other words, if them shear pins have to take over, it's engaged. If you do it the other way and it hits something, that blade's gonna get inertia and it will snap them pins very easily. So that takes care of that. Now we're gonna put the uh, tension on the saw nut. I'll show you that again. I'm just gonna put my gloves on because I'm gonna be holding on to uh, 
top of the saw with these brand new teeth. A pitcher went out on this. That goes yeah, it, it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna let it roll back a little bit, Ed. Let, let, let the blade roll back. No, let the blade go back. Okay, I'm gonna get on it with my foot now. And this is it. About three or four good stomps. And that's it for that. Now let's come up to the front side. And we're gonna have to set the uh, guide pin. So if you can come around something like that there, Ed. Okay, just watch your thumb don't get in the way here. What I'm trying to show here is I'm going to back this inner saw guide out so we have, we have movement there. We don't want that to ever touch. Now, the outer guide, making sure we don't lose that keyway. And that keyway is so important because it keeps this from rolling down. And again, it's toolless. We're just gonna wind it in until we got, I'm gonna say the thickness of a business card. That's good to start with. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna fire up the bus motor and uh, we're gonna bring this thing up to operating speed. And once we get to operating speed, we're going to set the guide pins in where they need to be, so. Let's get her fired up. All right, we're gonna fire up the old bus engine. Bus motor is running. Now, Eddie's gonna engage the pirate takeoff. We're gonna go back out here. It's gonna get loud, so you're not gonna hear much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust these saw guides and uh, we're gonna bring them. Yeah, she's running nice and true so far. go to you. Barely hear it touch. We'll bring that outside one in. We're going to let him shut it down here for a second. And I'm going to see how much clearance we got between, between the sides of that blade. Should not be touching. But it might be touching on one side because when it comes up to speed, that saw literally straightens out. So, let's see how much clearance we got. That thing is standing up straight. It's standing up perfect. Just a, we can probably come in just a, yeah, we're going to check it one more time once it's up to speed one more time, but we're, we're just about where we need to be. And uh, as the blade breaks in, we'll keep checking that for the first few thousand feet until that blade becomes happy where it's at. So let's get a couple logs rousted up here and then we'll get ready to test it out.
Been sold for a long time with used blades. So this is our first uh, test. You don't want to start with nothing uh, crazy big. Let me push these tapers back. Cut some sheeting just for a test video. Alright. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's open this bad boy up and see how the saw works and sounds and all the above. Busting up some sheeting. Alright, let's roll that back to the knees and see what we get out of this. I'm hoping to get some 1 by 8 maybe. In fact, I'm going to pull up just a little bit more than normal here. Two 
for Thursday. And I think the lead is set pretty good. Yeah, when you put a new blade on, don't start tweaking nothing until you make a few test cuts. That other blade was behaving like there was a lead problem in here. It was nothing more than a tension problem. second here. I'm just going to saw this down to some 2 by or whatever it finishes it out to. That will work. There's victim number one. One more. Make it a worthwhile Friday video for you. And this is actually, in reality, it's Wednesday night right now, but I do everything that I can do after work. Stuff 
out of there real quick. Where are my sticks at? Nice and shiny, and uh, I, I can't get over the performance of that blade. Oh, it's just perfect. That's and the first new one in 30 years. <laughs> we never owned it. That was the first yeah, new one ever, first yeah. Ever, yeah. And, and it's a much smoother cut. Uh, the blade is at full tension where it needs to be. Uh, we, cut, we cut right around 100 board feet. Yeah, yeah. And that wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't too bad. And uh, if you heard a different sound in that saw, it was definitely, you, you could hear. And then also I'll show you something here. The other blade, you could literally barely bump this and it would touch. You gotta really, you gotta really pull on it. So that blade there is just absolutely perfect in tension. It, it stood up absolutely straight. So we wanted to give you a different video today of, uh, basically behind the scenes and uh we're going to be talking to the saw doctor we met him at the bunion show yeah him and his boy and yeah. we're going to definitely talk to him and uh get that blade sent down to north carolina and get it uh rehammered retentioned that is and put new shanks in it new bits and then we'll have another perfect saw for a backup yes and uh Good to have. so there it is some yellow pine the first log so we're going to be cutting some white oak coming up uh next 
next video next video or so yeah. you'll be seeing some white oak and then that'll really tell us what that blade's all about so but when it did good in a naughty softwood oh yeah that's saying a lot for it so hey thanks for coming along i hope you enjoyed this uh th or friday eve video friday eve. and uh yeah a lot of people say hey it's uh it's only thursday where i'm at but that's friday yeah, eve. that's friday that's like eve. christmas eve so that's just the way it is so hey thanks for coming along please do me a favor could you hit the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one thank you bye-bye